Hello and welcome back. I'm Roger Russell. This is High Definition Wire Sculpture. Um, it's an update on the Dragonfly that you may have seen me building the wings. I've now completed both wings. I don't know if you can see the detail. It's about three days work to do both wings. This is the previous smaller Dragonfly. See beside his big brother. I just like to show you what's involved. I've now got to build a head for the dragonfly, and these are the parts. So there we have the two rings that make up the eye socket. There are the two eye meshes and those two parts make up the head and the mouth. Update soon. Hi, right, we're all ready to go so I've got my um, 15 inch dragonfly head on my bench and I've got the eye mesh I'm going to wire it in using this wire can you see that it's quite it's quite fine wire it's um point one of a mil i think never done this before so um let's see how i go first of all i'm going to attach the fine wire to the iframe so it doesn't come off. Now I'm going to use a fine tip. So I'm going to tin actually fluxing in that joint. I think I'm going to put the wire down there. Can you see that? Taking so with I'm trying to solder a very fine gauge wire to much thicker wire so and that didn't take. So, let's try and do it without soldering that wire. So it's very fiddly for me to be able to show you on the camera. It's making it harder for myself, but here we go. So we got just fell off so I'm gonna solder that and come back. Right I've soldered the uh, spreaded wire back on. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a good video but I'm gonna show you if you can see that I'm sewing the eye mesh to the eye frame with a very fine tin of copper wire. Get up close and it doesn't work. I'll try zooming in. Nope, oh, gone out of focus. This is a bit rubbish. Anyway, I'm going to carry on. Um, Coming up through the mesh. I 
It should have gone down rather than up, so I'm going to switch and go down. This doesn't want to take too long. I could tack it on. <laughs> Not a good idea to chew it off of your teeth, but the kinks. So I'm going to do a few more of these and then I'm going to finish it off and come back. Um, Damn. Okay. And it's grabbing it the other side. Okay, tweezers. There. See? So that's one. The other side. I'm going to finish off and come back. Hello, right, I've done that. You see that? So I've stitched the mesh that domed onto one side of the dragonfly's head. And now I'm going to do the other side and come back. Oh, big long shadow, right? I'm back. Hope you can see that. It's not very clear. Right, so I've now soldered two mesh eyes. It's better in the sunlight. Onto the eye frame of the dragonfly head. This is this is the back of the head and this is the front. So open that up a bit. And then somehow I've got to get This bit in there. You see that? And then I've got to get that bit on there. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. Right. Hi, right. So I'm now I've wired both meshes to the eye sock to the eye frame. I've mounted both head pieces. So look at it right in a minute. So that's the head. It might not look like a head to you yet. Inside, you see the stitching. Delicate work. Right, I'm back. I've come a bit a long way now. I've now started to enclose the head different plates. I'm just about to solder the last plate on just there. So I'll put it on the bench. I've already fluxed it. So
flows nicely on copper reflux. If you get on the other plate, there. Hello, just back for a quick video. This is the 15 inch dragonfly I've been working on for a few weeks. I haven't actually got a buyer for it. I have some people interested. Um, a lot of work in this, especially in the wings. I'm going to show you the detail in the wings. Need to this way. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. Oops, too much. So on this one wing. And that's the bigger wing. If I did this in one go, I think it would take me three days, but I can't do that. <laughs> okay. I'll give you a close up of the head. Again, quite a lot of time and skill gone into making that head. The body's made out of 14 gauge individual wires formed to form the thorax and the tail is coils of 14 gauge and so are the legs. Okay. Okay this is a smaller dragonfly about seven inch um, which I'm building. This, is, this has been ordered, two customers have ordered these. Um, that's the photograph or the picture I use from the internet to make the dragonfly. And this is this is the same piece of card with the jig. I don't know if you can see the detail. I'm taking the magnets off. So yeah. now this is the, the first wing. I've started to do lots of detail and that's the wing as it starts out so I lay it on the drawing and as I've been I've probably told you before I trace the image with wire this is, this is the first one dragonfly I've finished um, which I kept. Okay. <laughs> 